great to see um, students who don't always uh, put themselves forward in class, not always the ones that grab the attention, um, come up and do uh, a poetry piece like Marlon and Wow, because uh, I remember them when they first started drama, and you couldn't get them to say a word. Now, <laughs> so really good stuff. Okay, we have another solo performer. Uh, can I just move this here? And our solo performer this time, okay, from year eight. <laughs> Get back there. Right? Is Henry! to be successful. The life would be a lot less stressful. Education is the key. Now let me tell you what your parents will tell you. Make me proud. It increases your chances of getting a job, provides you with an opportunity to be successful. The life will be a lot less stressful. Education is the key. Now let's look at the statistics. Steve Jobs, net worth, seven billion. Rest in peace. Richard Branson, Net worth, 4.2 billion. Oprah Winfrey, net worth, 2.7 billion. Mark Zuckerberg, Henry Ford, Steven Spielberg, Bill Gates, now here comes the coup de grace. Looking at these individuals, what's your conclusion? Neither of them, in being successful, ever graduated from a higher learning institution. Now some of you may protest like, you know, money is the only medium by which one measures worldly success. Some of you even have the nerve to say, I don't do it for the money. So what are you studying for? To work for a charity? Need more clarity? Let's look at the statistics. Jesus, Muhammad, praise be upon him, Socrates, Malcolm X, Mother Teresa, Spielberg, Shakespeare, Beethoven, Jesse Owens, Muhammad Ali, Sean Carter, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, Michael Joseph Jackson. Were either of these people unsuccessful or uneducated? All I'm saying is that if there was a family tree, Hard work and education will be related, but school will probably be a distant cousin. Because if education is the key, then the school is the lock. Then it really ever develops your mind to the point where you can perceive red is green and continue to go until someone else says stop. Because if you follow the rules and pass the exams, you're cool. But are you aware that examiners have a checklist? And if you answer something outside of the box, the automatic response is across. And then they claim that school expands your horizons and your visions. Well, tell that to Malcolm X who dropped out of school and is world renowned for what he learnt in a prison. Proverbs 17, 16. It does a fool no good to spend money on education. Why? Because he has no common sense. George Bush, need I say more? <laughs> education is about inspiring one's mind, not just filling their head. And take this from me because I'm an educated man myself. We only came to this realization after counting tonight to the library with a can of Red Bull keeping me awake to dawn to doing another can in the morning. Falling asleep in between pools of books would probably equate the same amount I spent on my rent. Memorize equations, facts and dates, and write it down to the letter, half of which I never remember, and half of which I get straight off the exam and before the start of the next semester. Asking for anyone if they have notes in the last lecture. I often find myself running to class just so I could find a spot which I could rest my head and fall asleep without making a scene. Ironic, because that's the only time I spent in the university chasing my dreams. <laughs> 